so what's up guys you're yeah, welcome back once again to my youtube channel if today is your first time coming across my youtube channel do all to subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video if you're a rabbit farmer comment if you want me to do any other videos concerning rabbits in today's video i want to be showing you guys the easiest way to crossbreed your rabbit yes the easiest way to crossbreed your rabbit so one of the things you need to look out for when you want to cross a rabbit is uh, to allow the female to go on hits yes i talked about a uh, female going on hits on my previous video you can go and check that video out and um, they go on hits between uh, like 14 to 16 days in a month yes so when one day go on that cycle it's very very easy for them to cross it's very very easy for them to cross the male does not really have a particular time that it always go on hit the males are always on hit every time the males are always on hit so i'm just going to show you guys how to cross the females down it so this is my palomino doe here just zoom in this is my palomino doe this is a female rabbit i'm going to be crossing her as you can see she's very very big yeah i'm going to be crossing her with the with my hyla box i'm going to be crossing her with my hyla box so i'm just going to put her in i'm not going to do anything just put her in and you see that the hyla will cross her so as you can see it has crossed successfully as you can see he has fall from the female so he has four he has crossed successfully so i'm just going to bring the female out from there and put her back in a cage and wait for some time so you saw how the crossing was very very easy yes the crossing was very very easy due to the female is on hit yes but when the female is not on hit it's always very very hard to cross the female so our advice is one anytime you want to cross your rabbit make sure the female is on hit and also before crossing the rabbit i talked about this solution the ginger garlic uh, solution before crossing your rabbit try to give them the solution maybe three days before crossing them and deworm them as you can see i just removed this remaining purple from her fish yes i dewormed her before crossing so um you can be trying some some of these things like the ginger garlic solution then you want her and make sure she's like very healthy don't cross the rabbit that is unhealthy so that you will not get uh unhealthy offspring you know sometimes when they're unhealthy they don't even pull their fur when it's time to give birth but if you cross very healthy uh, female rabbits you will see very healthy offspring yes they'll be very very healthy and also the males if the males need to be very very active if you put your female with a male that is not active it will just be turning around jumping around it will not even go straight to the point and cross as you see as you saw in the video i when once i just put that female in there the male was very very agile to cross her yes i already crossed her once before even starting this video so that's like the second time i'm crossing her so once you put it there look you need to look if they are position where if they're not position where you just adjust the female like the way position well when i put them that's why i did not touch them so if they are not position well you adjust the female and make sure the male is set well to cross so uh, another thing you need to look out for also is um make sure the the female rabbit is not bigger than the male make sure the female rabbit is not bigger than the male if the female rabbit is bigger than the male let it not be too too big let it not be too too big let the size of the female let, let there not be much difference because when once the female is bigger than the male it will, yeah, the male will find it very difficult to mount the female yes he will find it very difficult to find uh, mount the female so the male needs to be bigger than the female or they should be at least the same size yes but the male should be older than the female even if in size the female they they are the same size but the male should be older so that it gives you better offspring and you know older males they are very experienced since they have crossed so they don't waste your time i like keeping older males as breeders because they don't waste your time and once you put it there they know what to do they just go straight to the point cross the rabbit and you get your rabbit out of there so i will i'm going to be trying it one more time Although I've not really waited for long, I'm going to be trying it one more time because I know it will surely cross. I know it will surely cross. I'm going to be trying it again. So just watch. Well, once I put it in there, you see how it's going to happen. <coughs> so just come closer so that the video is there. Thank <laughs> you. 
See, the male, the male is stamping his feet all over the cage. He, you know. As you can see, it has successfully crossed again. Yes, as you can see, it has successfully crossed again. So that's like the take time that it has crossed. So I think I'm done with that particular female. So, but once you are just done crossing it successfully, like the next thing you need to do is just to keep the record of the dates you cross them. Yes, it's very very important to keep the record of the dates you cross them. So just keep the record of the dates. You cross them so that you know by that time from the next 28 to 32 days they will be due for kindling but before the 28 to 32 days you need to palpate them after 14 days even now to do palpating i prefer you learning how to do palpating because so that you won't waste your time waiting for one month one whole month and if the rabbit is not pregnant that one whole month has become a waste like for me now i know how to palpate my rabbit well, once it's two weeks i can palpate and know if this particular rabbit is pregnant if it's not pregnant after two weeks I will take it back to the mail and introduce it. And when once it cross, I record again. Yes, that's how I do. So you need to learn how to palpate. But even if you can't palpate, you can still wait for the, uh, 28 to 32 days to know when your rabbit is due for mating. Yes. So it's not like it's not really uh, a really long time. Just like one month. But if you think one month is a lot, so you, you need to learn how to palpate. So for those of you guys that have been asking me how to cross rabbit that the rabbit has been giving them issue, you need to be, you need to go and watch the videos on how to know if your rabbit is on heat. So that once you know how to check if the rabbit is on heat, when once it goes to that cycle, and once it, it shows those few signs that I talked about in the previous video on uh, how to know a rabbit on heat, when once you see those signs, you know okay this rabbit is on heat. So you need to introduce it to the male. So thank you for watching this video. If you do like, if you do find this video helpful do well to give me a thumbs up like this video please do well to like subscribe to my youtube channel if you are yet to subscribe and turn on the notification bell thank you guys once again and do have a nice day peace out